Signed a new five-year contract, going to stay in Lexington for the foreseeable future. Everybody in Lexington hopes that anyway. Uh, taking this, his team to the tournament every year that he has coached here in Lexington. Just about ready to start. The Wildcats and the Aggies. Gabby Curry will serve it for the Wildcats. And we are underway in Lexington. Aggies coming off an upset win of Georgia, and it's AM drawing the first blood. All in hands. Yep. We said we'd say her name a lot. She gets the first swing, she gets the first kill. Now you see Makina Patterson out of Phoenix, Arizona. She'll serve it. And an ace. Good start for Texas AM. Patterson five blocks in that big win against Mississippi. She's the top blocker in the Southeastern Conference, so she is somebody that Kentucky's going to enjoy seeing in the back row. First swing for the Wildcats, Teeler. And Ashani Teeler shows you some of that explosiveness she has on the right side. So now Lauren Tharp drops back to serve. Five aces on the year. And a swing and a miss. Absolute whiff for Mallory Talbert. And the Wildcats tie it up. AM is going to try and get their middles more involved in their offense, but that first whiff swing was a reason as to why it's been a struggle for them. Like I said, she had five aces. Tharp actually has 10. That's long, and the Wildcats take their first lead here in Lexington. And that's a touch. I think the down official ah, saw that. Right. Down official you're caught the touch. Right. So on the touch, and m regains the lead. And now we get a chance to see Allison Fields. The Hilates, Texas, sophomore defensive specialist. Set to Stumbler, Ali Stumbler. Hammers it home, former National Player of the Week. We're tied at three. Stumbler's just been so steady for the Wildcats this year. It really has. And really picked up when Leah Edmond was suffering from injuries. Wildcats look to take the lead for the first time. No such luck, says Talbert. And a &M back on top. So there you see Hands serving for the first time out of Corpus Christi, Texas. Just a dynamic talent for the Aggies. A tremendous serve to start. Leading the conference in aces, Holland Hands. And you can see it's not really a float serve. It's not really a spin serve. But it falls off the but table. But it is a very, very difficult serve to pass. Yep. So she goes up, hits it high, and hits it hard. Really with a set to Edmund off the hands of Hands. Well, that's back with it one. That's Precisely what the Cats are looking for. Absolutely. Get the ball to Leah Edmond and get the ball to Madison Lilly actually on a good pass. Yep. And then uh, lots of good things happen for this Cats team. Leah Meyer with the serve. Wildcats somehow keep it alive. Overpass now. Big chance for Kentucky. Back row stumbler. That's in. Nice defensive play there by Leah Meyer. Server coming in to the right side. Here, picking up this tip ball wow. on a pancake. Just keeping it up in the air. And Stumbler makes the most of it, kills the ball. A little too much adrenaline. Not so excited about that yep. pancake. <laughs> that, uh... Her body hadn't reset yet. Yeah, throwing herself exactly. on the floor. Her, uh... So the Aggies retake the lead, and Camila Gomez will serve it from Columbia. Long way from home. Oh, 
Aggies keep it alive. Hands from the back row. And the touch on the Wildcats. Another big time play. And a two point lead for AM, second one of the night. But you expect that kind of play from her. She's, she's averaging four and a, almost four and a half kills a set for a reason. We're seeing it early. Wildcats misfire as they receive serve and it cost them. So AM up by three for the first time. Good steady block set up here. And AM, one of the better blocking teams in, in the league. And good blocking very frequently is the result of good serving. So make the other team, put them out of system. Now your block can set up. Good block by the Wildcat, at least good defense. But AM keeps it alive and manages to pull out by four. A team that, as we said earlier, knocked off Georgia. She had been undefeated to that point. And hammered them, actually. Yep, swept. Yep. AM has swept three, or rather six times this year. Wildcats have swept five. And Edmund wins the battle at the net. Wasn't a whole lot that Connor could do. Camille Connor battling with the All-American. Wildcats back within three. Overpass here. Connor just a little late getting her hands over. Edmund will make you pay. Curry with a set. Gomez with a dig. Lily keeps it alive for the Wildcats. Boy, Edmund hit it. Just, just a nice move right by, Ed, yeah. Yeah, by Edmund, and that ball was going <laughs> towards the net. You don't want to jump into the net if you're if you're Leah Edmund. Nobody wants to jump right. into the net, but you know, so just able to chip it off the block. Educated move by the Wildcats, but a service error makes it a three-point lead again for the Aggies. As Johnny Taylor has checked back in for Kentucky. The diminutive but powerful outside hitter. Leah Edmond, not much you can do with that. And you know, her ability to, scare, to score from both pins, in, uh, talking to Bert Kuhn, you know, what, what worries you about Kentucky? She said, they're pins, we've got to control their pins. Good luck. Uh, you've got Teeler on one side and you've got Edmund on the other. Good luck. SEC Player of the Year last season. Well, that was just a perfect set to Patterson, the junior from Phoenix. And Patterson's offense is getting better and better. She struggled early in the year connecting with Connor. This is a good 31 here right into the gap in front of Kendall Paris. Uh, but uh, really started just focusing on her blocking and letting her offense come, and there was a sign that things are timing up between her and Connor. Anderson, two kills and two swings. Gomez, nice defensive play. And the left-hander, Triana Rush, puts one down. Freshman from Texarkana. Back to a four-point lead. Greg Skinner wants to talk to his team. Texas A&M 12, Kentucky 8 on the SEC net. Back in Lexington, Dick Gabriel, Kathy DeBoer, Bird Coons team has a 12-8 lead on the Kentucky Wildcats, ranked 15th in the country. Wildcats and A&M are among the best teams in the country for the RPI. We'll talk more about that as we go along. Allie Stumbler gives Kentucky the point out of the timeout. Both teams passing very well right now, and you can see it in their hitting percentages. So isolating, being able to is isolate their hitters. Allie Stumbler through the gap. What a mistake by the Wildcats, and they just can't win for losing right now. And they are behind again by four. Akina Patterson will serve it again. Get 
Gabby Curry rescues. Free ball, a and Stumbler keeps it alive. And they're trying to finish. That's wide and long. And an unlikely point for Kentucky. Well, that looked like a disaster for a moment. Look at Curry. Great pursuit by Curry. And then, you know, you got to get there, but then you have to put it back in play. So there's times you see players get there, but they can't put it back in play. She puts it back in play and gives Kentucky another chance. That's a momentum lifting point. Boy, and a quick attack by Texas A&M, but that was set up by a great pass by Taylor Voss. And actually the setter's in the back row here and stuff, but uh, so, Kentucky not looking for that setter dump, yep. but if she's below the height of the net, she can actually set it over the net. That's why Camille Connor scored flat-footed, basically, as Allison Fields serves it for a &M. Defense is there for the Aggies. Connor on the outside. Mallory Talbert also there for a &M. Absolutely good setup and shutting the door on Allie Stumler. Biggest lead of the night for the Aggies. Stumler. Wildcats finally gets revenge. Yeah. AM has a five point lead. Kentucky's had three service errors and two stuff blocks. So uh, those are the five points right there. Yep. Uh, that's the difference in this right now. Cats have not been able to put together a run. That's in. Great. a m has just been precise. Great corner shot, Holland hands. Senior outside hitter. This goes high into the corner. Through it looked like a, like a seam in the yeah, block. Exactly, that's what the I was gonna say. Set. Yeah. You're lucky and good, and that means you're up 17-11. And another timeout call by Craig Skinner, just for one thing, trying to stop the momentum a little bit. Stop the bleeding here. Uh, yeah, and, and Kentucky's not playing poorly. No. So it's not like he's calling his team over going, hey, what are we doing here? You know, what's going on? Is a and uh, Hands has hit uh, one ball out of bounds, but otherwise, uh, these two teams are, are really playing at a very, very high level right now in terms of giving away points. Hands with double digit kills in 15 consecutive matches. Out of the timeout, the Wildcats get precisely what they want. And that's a kill from Leah Meyer. Transfer from Duke, grad transfer. And stepped in immediately and helped his Kentucky team this year. Leads Kentucky in blocks per set. Cameron Scheitzok checks in to serve it. She filled in for Madison Lilly. And there's Leah Edmonds. Sometimes, Coach, you don't have to pound the ball to get a kill. Yeah, and then this is a real good sign here. One on one here. That's uh, you love it when your blockers can get it done one on one, and a blocker like Leah Edmonds can. But so. The substitution here of Scheitzok means that Craig Skinner is very comfortable that Madison Lilly is a go yep. because Scheitzok is their backup setter. And so um, he feels comfortable that he's not going to need her as a sub for Lilly in this set. And again, the Kentucky defense comes through. Lauren Davis just couldn't punch it past the Wildcats. Scheitzok will serve it again. Sophomore from Orlando, Florida. What a job she did. 50 assists in the victory over Ole Miss. Ali <laughs> Stumbler and a net violation. No, back row attack. Oh, back row yeah, attack. Yeah, right. Stumbler off the wrong side of the line. The Wildcats had gained a little See bit of momentum. Toe is on the line there. Yep. Both feet have to be behind the line. 
the three meter line on the jump and uh, she was standing on it. Now the momentum is swinging back to Texas a &M. And another ace. So that's yep. the third reception error now that we've seen for Kentucky and the fourth reception no. error. Yep. Gomez had a good run serving last time. Kendall Paris though puts it down. And she scores her first kill of the night. So as you've pointed out, David, Kentucky needs to put some points together here to close this gap. You can't just trade side outs when you're down by four and the other team's close to 20. You've got to put some together. Gomez has to set, another back row attack, and once again, there's hands. Just goes high off the block here, between the two, between the two blockers, Holland Hands, getting her fifth kill of the... Now Camille Connor, the Katy, Texas native, yeah, admin, and that's Connor with a dig, but can't keep it in play. Not many can off the right arm of Leah Edmond like that. So now Edmund drops back to serve. Wildcats star broke the UK record, all time career kills for scoring errors in Alabama earlier this year. Curry with a dig. Like you said, Coach, you got to get it back over the net. Now, Taylor makes a valiant effort, actually, just uh, almost, almost jumping over and definitely into the statisticians trying to save that ball. So the five-point lead again for A&M as Taylor Voss serves it. Edmund. That helps keep it alive for AM. Bad angle, but somehow the Aggies get it across. That's Stumbler. Gomez with a dig. Hands. And just like Edmund, when Hands gets that angle and gets a set like that, you can't stop it. Gomez doing a nice job defensively. Digging there. Positioned correctly. Aggies pulling away here in set number one. Boy, the overpass by Edmund. Outstanding serve by Taylor Voss. Voss with 10 digs in a win over Mississippi, seven against Georgia. And now AM is two points away. Edmund's going to get some rest here. I think they just don't want to make her a target yep. on serve receive here. Need us need to need need to side out immediately. Kylie Schmaltz checking in. She'll take the serve. A touch. Touch on the on block. The swing by Kendall Paris. And then just gets her team together and goes, okay, all we've got to do is just side out. Just side out. They don't they don't need to run points here. They just have to avoid it. Gabby Curry serving. Good pass from Boss. And again, just a perfect play by AM. So now it's set point for the Aggies. There are some Aggie fans here, but I don't see them in standing. Generally, that's what you see on set point. It's a long trip from College Station. Quick attack by Lilly, but AM is there. Stumbler. The Wildcats fight it off. But a lot of work to do down six. Stumbler with a big night. Five kills already, matching Leah Edmond, although Stumbler with 13 swings and two errors. Tharp to serve. They go at Voss. 
Dig by Tharp, but they can't keep it in bounds. And Texas A&M jumps out first. The Aggies won, the Wildcats nothing. Here in Lexington, we are back in just a minute on the SEC Network. Back at Memorial Coliseum, Dick Gabriel, Kathy DeBoer, one nothing. Texas A&M with the early lead on the homestanding Wildcats and already a big night for Holland Hands. And we told, her, told you about her at the top of the broadcast and she is not disappointed. These matches were five uh, set matches and A&M was in a position to win both of them in the fifth set. Did you believe finish. in good losses when you were coaching? I did not. <laughs> Gomez, terrific play defensively, but cannot save it. She extended the point, but the Wildcats jump out with an early lead. Gomez, a senior from Columbia, has played on the Columbia national team for eight years. So you figure wow. she's maybe 22 or 23. She's been on the Columbia national team since she was 14. She's a household name in Columbia in volleyball. And a huge left-handed swing by Rush, but Wildcats now lead it 2-0. And this is what they have to do. They have to say Kentucky has to score when Rush is in the front row and when Davis is in the front row. Those are the two freshmen who are a little bit more inconsistent with their attacking. But they get it to hands and Abby Curry with a dig, free ball for the Aggies. And again, no stopping that one. And if A&M passes, Kentucky may have to do some just departing on blocking to get two blockers on hands, because if you leave her one-on-one, -on -one, she's Aaliyah Edgeton, oh, yeah. she's gonna kill the ball one-on-one. -on -one. So now Patterson drops back to serve it. Ali Stumler got the running start, but AM keeps it alive. Now two defenders were there for the Wildcats. And they get the point. Hands missed. A rare a, miss. Trying to go down the line here. It's been punishing the cross court. Gomez checks back in. Five foot two, she's listed. I don't know about that, Coach. <laughs> Down the line, but it's wide for Teeler. And AM cuts it to 3 2. Shawnee Teeler and Caitlin Cooper splitting time on that right side position, depending on who, who's doing the job in practice. And uh, Shawnee Teeler doing it the last couple of weeks, and so getting an opportunity to start there. Greg Skinner has made a habit of rewarding good play in practice, and there's Teeler. So Teeler hit 400 in practice all of the month of October. That'll do said, it. You know, That'll get it when done. somebody does that, you just have to give them a chance That's to get right. on the court. Well, it also speaks to his recruiting, the depth he's brought in. He can look at his roster and really move people around, find the answers to some of the questions he has. Now Cats get it done again with defense. And Kentucky has its first three to three point lead of the night. So Madison Lilly in a one on one on a pretty elite hitter. She's got to be excited about that. Yep. Lauren Tharp is long. Another service error for the Wildcats, their fourth of the night. You just don't want to give much help to a team like Texas A&M, which absolutely will take it, but doesn't need it. Now Hands will serve it. Nine kills already. Boy, there's that brutal serve. Stumbler. Again. Can't find a seam, but Hands does. It's the Hands show here. She yep. first starts off with the serve and then kills the ball from the back row. So she's averaging a little over four kills per set, but tonight she's on a pace to do five kills per set. Or I mean, I'm sorry, she has 10, and we're yep. just in the second set early in the second half. 16 consecutive matches with double digit kills. And again, she's good and lucky. And we're tied. 
So that's her third ace. So she has 10 kills. She has three aces. That's 13 points for just one player here. Holland Hands is uh, putting on a show tonight. Another ace. Boy, it's just a rocket shot and then like a big league slider, it bottoms out. That's not your traditional jump serve no. where you throw it up real high and go get it, but she's able to generate a lot of momentum here. It's not a float serve either. She's hitting it really hard. Violation against the Aggies, the point to the Wildcats. Okay, and you're on the A&M bench right now and you have that server and you have Kentucky out of sync and you want to die when somebody touches the net yep. on your team. <laughs> but that's what happened, so on we go. Just grind your teeth a little bit if you're bird king. Meyer and Lily are there for the Wildcats. Kentucky retakes the lead. This is Lauren Davis. Freshman. Doesn't have near the range or the speed that we see from Holland Hands. And so this gives up op an opportunity to the Kentucky team. Boy, Meyer just could not reel that in. And I'm thinking that if you're A&M and you're looking at Holland Hand serves every day and that's what you're trying to pass, that anything else you see from anybody else is like, oh, this is easy. Because no they are just passing nails right now. I mean, they're not struggling with Kentucky serves at all. Boy, Leah Edmund climbing the ladder. Actually, more like an elevator. Using the outside hand here of the setter. Connor. So Meyer will serve. And with a rare misfire. Wildcats back on top by two. Kendall Paris in the middle of it all. Meyer reached 1,000 career kills early this year when you had up her time at Duke and Kentucky. And again, a nice quick attack by the Aggies. Heads up play by Patterson. Kind of really telegraphs this play pretty early, but Tharp thought she was, and Tharp saw it, but she thought she was tipping short and was able to tip it deep over Tharp's head. Three kills for Patterson now, three for three. Nearly another ace. And instead, it turns into a point for the Wildcats. Hey. It just happens that the good players always seem to be the lucky ones. How about Isn't that, that? Right? Yep. We've seen it with Holland Hands now. There we see it with Leah Edmund. How does that work? Gabby Curry to her knees. And there's Edmund again. He's working the block, working the block, making the freshmen who are on the pins right now in this rotation. You've got Davis at one pin, and you've got Rush at the other pin, both freshmen. And when they're out of system, they're a lot more tentative in terms of their attacking. This is an opportunity rotation for Kentucky. Madison Lilly, third all-time in assists here in Lexington. Well, that was a tremendous set it, it to really Rush. Was. And Rush just went up high enough to get it because that ball was floating towards the net. You had Paris and Edmund on the block, but Rush able to go over the top. Freshman Bird Coon said she doesn't even have any idea how good she can be. Wow. She's a freshman who hasn't played a lot of high-level volleyball yet. Um, really starting to make a... Contribution. Boy, dig by Voss. But the defense against Hands is there. Paris and Edmund. That's a big play for the Wildcats. Kentucky, it looks like it's ratcheted up that defense a little bit more on Holland Hands. And if so, my question is, what kept you? 
<laughs> but she's so good, though. There's, it's like Edmund. There's not a whole lot you can do sometimes. They serve at her. And boy, Rush put it right through Leah Edmund. You're an All-American, we'll take that. Yeah, but but serving her is one of the ways sure. to try and show down, slow, down, slow her down, but she perfect passes it, and Rush says, okay, well, I'm good in system, remember? Yep. That's what I can do. Once again, Curry giving up her body, but she just can't keep it in bounds. Trying to keep it alive. Yep. Rush this again. She's like a little bit like Teeler. She's not a, a real big kid, about 5'10 and stuff, but just going up above and hitting down at the block. Yep. There's no one, there is no setter in this league that can make that set except Madison Lilly. A one-handed set out to the outside. And really rescued the pass. This is where she is a difference maker. That's yep. what makes you first team all SEC. Yep. As she was last year as a sophomore. Well, it is Rush again, and she just set up shot there on the right side. Rush has moved the ball around well, and this was one of the things in the Georgia win that uh, Bird Coon said is uh, Shani was just, uh, I mean, uh, Trey. <laughs> Excuse me, Triana was the difference maker in that in terms of her finding her offense. Boy, another quick attack works for the Aggies. And again, you could kind of see that forming. Yeah, they're, they're playing faster than Kentucky right now. Uh, Texas A&M is. Uh, just a step faster. Uh, Leah Meyer doesn't pick up on the fact that Connor has turned to swing at the ball and so is late on the block. They serve at Stumbler and a set to Teeler, but she's off balance and an easy kill for hands. And AM retakes the lead. First time since the Aggies led it six to five. Now Cats have led by as many as three here in set number two. AM had virtually all the momentum in set number one. And again, textbook to Teeler on the set from Lilly. The freshman right sides right now. Shawnee Teeler for Kentucky. And uh, Triana Rush for AM are the ones that are kind of lighting it up right now. Tharp to serve. 18 digs versus Indiana earlier this year for Tharp. That's long, no touches by the Wildcats. And they take a 15-14 lead. Time out on the floor, Kentucky by one, here in Lexington on the SEC Network. Back at the Coliseum where the Kentucky Band has worked in some impressive choreography tonight. It's Kentucky 15, and 14, Dick Gabriel, Kathy DeBoer, and this is why this match is so vital. They all are right now. Kentucky tied at the top with Florida. Cats have beaten the Gators, and AM trying to play spoiler, if not work its way to the top of the SEC. So, what's a fun time of year? It is, unless you're coaching. <laughs> then you're growing an ulcer, but uh, <laughs> there's a pile up here at the top, and a lot of volleyball left to be played yep. tonight. And in the second half of the league here. Greg Skinner's dealt with it for 15 years now as a head coach at Kentucky. Bird Coon is just now getting a taste of it as a head coach. Again, the quick attack, but Edmund with a pancake. Stumler with her 20th swing. Boy, just the finesse, and that was number 20 for hands. You know, interesting, Kathy, though, she has really cooled off a little bit. Obviously, since that first set where she was eight kills, one error, hit 583. So far, that's her third kill here with four errors in set number two. So that's been a key to Kentucky coming back, although we're tied now. Not exactly what the Wildcats wanted. Now they got to play some defense. There's Edmund. And an easy kill. Gray and M's Mallory Talbert. 
the sophomore from Montgomery, Texas, and the Aggies retake the lead. Overpass here. Kendall Paris can't get up to contest it. Albert seven kills in the win over Georgia, along with four blocks. Stumbler again. And Talbert just can't clear the net. Kentucky benefiting here a little bit. Of a not really being able to be effective from the middle. Their middle's not helping their offense because their pin players right now are in um, halls and rush, our uh, hands and rush are doing some damage. A quick attack by the Wildcats, but a violation. And a and Official deciding the that Madison Lilly hung on to that. Yep. A little bit long here. She was trying also to, oh, and then netted. That's yep. what it was. Yep. Okay, so calling her in the net. I wondered if they would get her for hanging on. Yeah. Service error by Gomez. We're tied again. You know, when Gomez came here from Columbia, you wonder what she thought about a league that Included universities in two different cities named Columbia. <laughs> a little bit of a different spelling. But a little bit different. See, I, I worry about things like that. I waste a lot of time on that. Scheidsock is back in the serve. Another quick attack. And Paris, you know, Kentucky's middles have got to do a better job here. It's a split block. Setter's in the front row. That's about a half dozen times they pulled that off. I mean, yeah. Uh, and, and pulled it off without the middle responding at all. Okay? Without, it's almost like they didn't know she was in the front row. Yep. That's a mental error that you can't make. Yep. Dig by Gomez. That's will try it again. Paris. Off the hands of Connor. And we're tied again at 18. Kendall Paris redeeming herself after losing track of the setter by getting the kill. Putting Kentucky back at tide. Race is on to 25. and m took set number one, 25-18. That's out of system. Stumler sends it over. Teeler with quick hands, but a free ball for a &M. Connor again. Stumler runs it down. Curry setting Edmund. What a dig by Gomez. Back row hands. Stumler with a dig. Boy, defense everything right now for both sides. And again, the Wildcats victimize in the donut. And Ashanti Teeler took a ball right off the forehead here. These two teams are very balanced, and we're seeing it, the results on the court, although we are seeing A&M really having, a having more success here at limiting point runs and having them themselves. Talking to Bird Coon about the win over Georgia, and that was 11 straight. She said sometimes it's just about matchups. Right now, getting the better of Kentucky. Rush with that big left-handed swing and clean up on aisle five for Patterson. So a and scoring out of the timeout. If any of that ball is, is uh, in play over the net, the middle can go get it. Kenneth Patterson cleans it up. Wildcats go to the All-American, but A&M's ready. And again, Rush just making life miserable for the Wildcats. Give her seven kills now on 11 swings, one air, 545. And she's just really kind of unconscious right now. I told you a little bit earlier, I talked to Bird Coon yesterday, and she said, you know, her play with 10 kills, first time that she had double-digit kills was against Georgia. Yep. And said, you know, she just goes out there. She doesn't have any idea 
what she's doing or how good she is going to be, how good she can be. And she's doing that tonight against Kentucky. She's just shown a variety of swings, some of them intentional kills, some of them just like, oh, it's up there, let me go get it and push it into a corner. Really playing like in a, in a more veteran role, but maybe playing so well because she's not thinking about it. 10 kills against the Bulldogs, as you said, with a hitting percentage of 444. And can I interest you in five blocks? <laughs> yeah. yeah, putting up a big block. So uh, d doing some damage. And, and we talked in the first set mostly. Uh, we talked about hauling hands. And now the second set here has, uh, has really been the Triana Rush show yeah. where she's got seven kills. Only the one block, but really she's just been getting it done with the offense. And the other place we've seen uh, te Texas A&M attack Kentucky very, very effectively has been in the soft spot in the yes, middle of the court. Absolutely. Uh, mostly with uh, Camille Connor has four kills here on six attempts, and almost all of them have just been balls thrown into the middle of the court. A couple of them, Kentucky blockers not ready, but otherwise just real smart plays here looking for an opening. Connor with five kills against Georgia. And a rare service oh, error. This is the second of the night for the Aggies, and the Wildcats get a much needed boost out of a timeout. I see Caitlin Cooper come in, and I know part of that is to see if we can put a, if Kentucky can put a bigger block in front of Hall and Hands on the left side. And Wash with a miss hip and rush. And just see through. Wow. it, go get it, hit it high and see what happens. And good things are happening for Rush with her eighth kill of the night. Yep. So a four point lead for the Aggies already up one nothing in the match. It's getting late for the Wildcats. Harley Basham has checked in to serve one of six freshmen for the Aggies. There's Cooper. Kentucky now looking for that player that can come off the bench, give them something that they don't have, give them a spark. Carly Basham, by the way, a Louisville native out of Assumption High School, volleyball powerhouse. Gabby Curry serving. Good pass from Gomez. Let's get a piece of it. And a quick set to Meyer. Now a two-point lead for a And that's a real good choice by Madison Lilly. Trying to get those middles back engaged, back involved. That's how you split your block up. Curry serves at Gomez again. Boy, and Rush just keeps getting it done. And Rush is just wearing out that inside arm of Leah Meyer. She's taken three or four shots. Cross court here, off that inside aim, uh, arm. If not low, yet solved the lefty. Low flat shot off that inside arm. We've seen it two or three times. Set point. And the miss hit on receipt of serve by Leah Edmond. Texas A&M has come into Lexington and taken a two nothing lead on the Kentucky Wildcats. We're back in a minute on the SEC Network. Two nothing, A and M leading Kentucky. Dick Gabriel, Cat, and Hall in hand to have attitude. And Camila Gomez, I mean, she, you know, she was the best uh, libero in the Pan Am games this summer. I mean, she, she knows she can play. And then you get this kind of play from the rush, the freshman, and another <laughs> service error by the Wildcats. That's five on the night for Kentucky. <laughs> A&M yeah. with two errors, but seven aces. Wildcats have zero aces. That's McKenna Patterson. Leah Meyer comes through for the Wildcats with her third kill. This is a good test time for Kentucky. They've got to just stay in here. They've got to stay focused. They've got to get, it's a cliche, but they've got to go after this point by point. They've got to limit any kind of runs that A&M has. 
These are struggle matches that you see at this point in the season. Wildcats need more of that from Leah Edmond on the outside and Kendall Paris. Yeah, let's make, let, let, you know, and, and, and Kentucky needs to make the A&M freshmen feel like, oh, wow, where'd that come from? By the way, Leah Edmond, nine kills in the first set, none in the second. Again, the quick attack. I've lost count. Yeah, and it, obviously completely unexpected by Kentucky because she's a back row player, and so she's actually setting the ball over the net when she has three attackers, and you just very rarely see it, and, and obviously Kentucky hasn't seen it and isn't ready for it. Kendall Paris with a big swing from the right side, and the Wildcats retake the lead. Some of the ways to stop the Connor, though, is you have to disrupt AM's offense so that she's not handling the ball close to the net all the time. I mean, she's like Madison Lilly. If you let her deal, um, she's got some weapons herself, and then she's got some weapons on the court, obviously, as we've talked about. She'll deal you out. Edmund doesn't get much of a shot. And it's a 3 3 score. And I think that time Caitlin Cooper took the ball right off the forehead. So the Ooh, Kentucky Blockers taking a, a beating here with their foreheads, trying to stop Holland Hands. Who is now serving 11 kills. A touch by the Aggies. And a sigh of relief because that means Holland Hands only gets to serve at you one yep. time. And you can take a server at that level and limit her to, to one serve. You don't have to look at that serve again for another six rotations. The Edmund now double digits. But another service error by the Wildcats. Boy, if they do not come back and win this, They'll be kicking themselves all the way to practice tomorrow with all the points they lost serving and with the quick attacks by AM as Gomez serves. Stumbler can't keep it in bounds. And now you're seeing the impact here of an of elite blocker and stuff. You see Stumbler not going to take on McKenna Patterson. So trying to go down the line, thread the needle, and there's just wasn't enough eye there. Three ball for AM. Well, they try the quick attack, a different kind of quick attack, but a little too much energy from Camille Connor. Wildcats tied up at five. Gabby Curry to serve. For Kentucky, seventh all time on Kentucky's digs list. Set the stumbler. Through the defense, Wildcats retake the lead. Good smart st shot by Allie Stumbler. Go low against McKenna. Patterson block, take the inside angle. Same angle that Rush was taking with Leah Meyer. Curry, 29 digs against Mississippi, her SEC career high. And once again, Aggie's getting a little greedy on that quick attack and can't keep it in bounds. And a two point lead for Kentucky. And this is a rotation where Kentucky can run some points if they can get AM out of system. But Curry's long. When you have a rotation where you can score points if they're out of system, you've got to make sure that they need to play the ball. So. Kentucky just a little bit letting the ball sail on them right now in terms of, of their serving, but you just reset. Seven service errors now for the Wildcats. Connor serving. Nicely done. They set Cooper there on the right side. And Camille Cooper comes up with her second kill. Caitlin Cooper just really going over the top here. 
Davis on the outside. Freshman outside hitter for AM. Caitlin Cooper from Missouri City, Texas. Rush again, and she's long. But Kentucky has slowed a little bit of that AM momentum. Or AM has slowed a little well, of the AM that's the point momentum. Taken. Yeah. <laughs> And, and, you, and you have to, you know, in all matches, if you're not going to get any help from your opponents, you're usually going to lose. So the A&M has really been playing almost flawlessly yes. here for the first two sets. Absolutely. Wildcats. That's a big kill for Davis. Lauren Davis, they don't set her very much. She's a freshman, 6'4". Again, lots of upside there, but out of system not very good uh, on the year and stuff. And so they limit the number of touches that she has to have, but there she takes it off the top of the block for a kill. Taylor Voss coming off a seven dig effort against Georgia. And again, the Aggie <laughs> defense comes through. And then within one, but Voss has been effective serving tonight. Also had 10 digs against Ole Miss, 12 against Mississippi State. Both teams using defensive specialists besides Liberos. Little kids in the back row that just make it so difficult to kill balls. Well, Leah Meyer on the slide. Wildcats back up by two. Boss a sophomore for him. Good pass here. And this is, Kentucky's automatic on these. Good pass, split the block. Ali Stumler to serve it. And again, hands is long. Well, she got off to a blistering start, Kathy, but she's cooled off a little bit. And Kentucky doing some things to make it more difficult. When you've got a, when you've got a front row outside hitter passing, make her pass the ball. Timeout, Texas A&M, Wildcats by three on the SEC Network. Back in Lexington, Dick Gabriel, Kathy DeBoer, Kentucky, trying to claw its way back from a 2-0 deficit here on its home court. Texas A&M jumped out, won the first two sets. Wildcats with a tenuous three-point lead, trying to build momentum against these well-coached Aggies, and Kentucky just keeps beating itself. Come out of a timeout, coach, and a service error. Defense, though, is how they have to do it. You have to side out regularly, and then you score points with serving and defense. And Try to get it to your All-American, who's been quiet since set one. Violation against the Aggies. Ball handling error by Patterson. Wildcats by three. Meyer to serve it again, the Duke transfer. 
assimilated quickly here and has helped Kentucky all season long. That's Edmund. Dig by Gomez, but an overpass. And Stumbler with a finesse. Out of Makes the back it work. row. Just catching Holland mm -hmm. hands on her way down on that block. Well, you saw Stumbler aiming for the AM donut. Kentucky's tried that a few times, but the Aggies have been ready. They have tortured Kentucky with a similar attack all night long. Bottom fell out of that one for Meyer. Nice serve. But it turns into a disaster. Stumbler, or rather, Meyer lost her balance. Tip ball off the hands, and Kentucky not able to control it. So back to a three-point game. And Allison Fields will serve it. Had a big match against the Gators. 13 digs, four assists. Edmund. That's in. 11 kills now for the All-American. And a four-point lead for the Wildcats. That's where an All-American bails you out. Yep. It's a bad pass. Everybody knows you're going to get the ball. She catches the back line. Edmund only one error on 22 swings. The Wildcats now by five, biggest lead of the night. And that doesn't go down in the books as an ace, but that's as close as Kentucky's gotten tonight, yep. uh, is uh, on an ace from Madison Lilly. Wildcats, eight service errors. And the eight service errors isn't the most difficult stat. It's the fact that it doesn't go with any aces. If yep. you're going to serve so tough that you're going to have that many errors, then you've got to get aces. Um, you know, you can't have that many service errors and not be matching it on the other side. And so, Hands. guess who's back to serve? Yep. Kentucky's nightmare. Kill number 12, but she had a short run back there last time. Hands from Corpus Christi, the senior. Once again, the Wildcats just Doesn't cannot. count as an ace, yep. but it, it, it looks like one, feels like one if you're on the Kentucky side of the net. No same chance effect. at an attack. Yeah, same effect. Back-to-back -back points now by the Aggies. And a miss hit by Edmund. So the run now by AM. And a timeout called by Craig Skinner. Momentum shifting dramatically toward the Aggies. And when you have a server like Hands, sometimes coaches, and Craig may be doing this, using his timeouts just to try and throw her out of rhythm. Um, you know, and so you have to use them there because your team just can't seem to figure out how to handle the serve. And uh, she's one of the top servers in the league and also closing in on all kinds of records at Texas A&M. It's not the be all and end all as some folks might think it is, at least in volleyball as Edmund gets the kill and now serves it. Edmund with a dig. Aggies out of system. Violation on the Wildcats as Lilly tried to rescue the errant pass. And it's a two point game again. Lilly, a back row player, as soon as the ball crosses the net and makes contact with the other team, if you're a back row setter or back row player, now that becomes an illegal attack by Madison Lilly. Gomez serves to Adam, or rather to Edmund, but Kentucky quickly sets Kendall Paris. This is where, Ke where Kentucky needs to be just very disciplined. They just need to side out each time, not give up points, and then 
serve the ball tough enough, let their defense get him some points. Gabby Curry just clears the tape. Three ball for the Wildcats. But defense by Lauren Davis. In a one-on-one -on -one battle with Meyer. We haven't said her name that much defensively, but here she gets to the ball quickly, gets her hands on the other side of the net, and shuts down Leah Meyer on Leah Meyer's favorite set, which is that ball behind the setter. Camille Connor, she had 50 assists in the win over Mississippi State and seven kills. I suspect some of those were of the quick attack variety. And there's a challenge here. I'm hoping that You're just hoping it doesn't take too long. I, I know what you were going to say. I am hoping that, but I'm yeah. hoping also that they're going to tell us what it is because I didn't see. Could be a net violation. We're trying to find out. You got to look at Craig Skinner. He's led his team to the NCAA tournament each of the last 14 years. Kentucky, one of only 10 teams to do that. So they're asking they may have a for case. their four. Yeah, I think, uh, I think Skinner's got a case. It didn't take them long to decide it, no. so it must have been fairly clear what the decision's going to be here. No, no. I... Skinner leading the Wildcats to back-to-back -to -back titles. First time that's happened here since 87-88. The young lady to my right had a lot to do with that. It's tough at the top, isn't it? And, and I think Kentucky is, is experiencing some of that. Um, is when you're, when you're the top, one of the top ranked teams in the league, it really makes some of the things that Kentucky's done, Florida did for so many years, really more impressive because you get everybody's best shot. Nobody has to worry about getting up to play you. Yep. You're going to get their best match. Yep. And you have to learn how to be able to play from that position. And I think that's something that I think Craig would say that his team is still learning how yep. to do. How do you play from in front? Well, and their basketball playing classmates can tell you about that. And in Aggie land, the kids who play football can tell you about Absolutely. that. Absolutely. Absolutely. It's, you know, the whole psychology of sport is trying to claw your way to the top. Right. We don't really do a lot of training on how do you stay there? Yeah. You know, when everybody's clawing after you, and it's it's really much more difficult than anybody thinks it is. I had a coach tell me that one time, the Nebraska coach, Terry Pettit. He said, getting good you think is hard until you try staying good. He said, that's way harder. So. Craig Skinner loses his appeal, 17 to 15, the score remains. Well, you think about all those years, Florida was lonely at the top. And the job Mary Wise did, keeping the Gators perennial annual champions is Aggies cut it to one. And that's just Connor and McKenna knowing each other, working with each other, because this ball is unsettable here for Connor, but McKenna says, here, just put it on my hand here, and I'll put it on the floor. Nice to have a 6-3 player in the middle for that. There's Leah Edmond, and goes up as high as she needs to. Cats back on top by two. It'll be interesting to see here, down the stretch here, if we don't see a little bit more from Leah Edmond. As we've noted, we, she hasn't been set that much. Yep here since the first set. Uh, and if you're where you are with Kentucky right now, if you've got to get back into this thing, you might want to look at your All-American. The hands got a big swing, but the Kentucky defense was there. Quick attack off the hands of hands. And the Wildcats by three. Lily got called on that earlier when she netted, but this time found that corner. Deep ball over the head. Gomez. Now Tharp checks in to serve again for the Wildcats. Yeah. 
That's wide. We talk about hands off to the great start, cooling off a little. That's her sixth error, rather seventh, as Bert Kuhn calls time. Hands 31 swings, 12 kills. She's down to 161. Conversely, Leah Edmond, 25 swings, 13 kills, only two errors, hitting 440. But as you mentioned, Wildcats had not had a chance to go to her until late. Yeah, and when you look at these two teams, at least on paper going into the match, and you don't play it on paper, right? but the supporting cast behind Leah Edmond on paper is stronger. And so Madison Lilly's got more options where she can go to Meyer behind on the slide. She's got Kendall Paris, who's not a great offensive threat, but she's you can't leave her by herself. Yep. And Allie Stumler, of course, has been a, a, a wonderful sophomore uh, striker here uh, for, for this for this team with nine kills tonight, but she's averaging over three kills per set. Yeah. And then you got Teeler and Cooper. So you got a lot more folks you got to manage here, uh, whereas on the Texas A&M side, you got Holland Hands, who is a handful, absolutely. And we've talked a lot about Triana Rush, but the, the rest of their attackers aren't getting a lot of balls. No, but McKenna Patterson, Nine swings, six kills, no errors. And if you're just joining us and wondering why is AM up 2 nothing? well, it's been a lot about the serving. We've talked about it. Eight service errors, only one ace now for the Wildcats. AM seven aces and only two errors. Plus, AM has pounded the donut against the Wildcats who have just not made the adjustments tonight. Lots of quick attacks into the middle. Overpass and an easy kill for Stumbler. She's in double digits now. That's 10. The Wildcats with a five point lead. Lauren Tharp, that doesn't go down as an ace, but it might as well yep. be if you can get an overpass. Your chances of getting a kill are way high. Tharp, one of the best servers on this Kentucky team. Serves that knuckleball and saves it just now. There's Edmund. Kentucky can start responding to some of the little ticky-tacky tipping stuff that, that they've really struggled with here. If they can start responding on some of those balls and stuff, they can get into a rhythm here that they that we that we haven't seen from their side yet this tonight. Tharp again. She'd love to close this out. A lot of work to do. Rush. Defense. Meyer. Stumbler. Rush just absolutely was having her way with Leah Meyer going off her inside arm, and Leah Meyer made an adjustment and shut the door. Six straight points for the Wildcats. Best run of the night by far here in set three. A little bit of a changeup by Tharp. Here's Rush. Abby Curry with a dig. Stumbler. How about the set by Madison Lilly to Leah Meyer? Spreading the court, making the middle chase from one corner to the other. Kentucky doing it just the way you said it had to do it. Grinding it out one point at a time, one play at a time. Boy, Thorpe trying to sneak it over the tape. And she had good success clogging up the Texas A&M offense here by short serving it. So just missed with that one, but you have to be pleased with that serving run by Lauren Tharp. Seven straight points by the Wildcats before that point. And now Voss will try to go on a run of her own for the Aggies. Myers wide. Cats got a good play from that serve. Meyer just ran out of real estate. Oh, 
The quick attack works as Lilly turns the tables on AM. Kentucky down 2 0. At the very least, avoids the sweep, takes a big step toward pulling this one out. But still, Texas AM with a 2 to 1 lead here in Lexington. And back for set number four in just a minute on the SEC Network. Dancing in the aisles here at Memorial Coliseum because the Wildcats came back after drop. As Taylor Voss at a Corpus Christi. It's a sophomore. Starts things off for AM. Now he stumbled with too much energy. Well, that's a great serve right there because even though the pass was pretty good by Tharp, by serving the ball short down the line, you take Leah, uh, take Leah Meyer out of the play. So now it has to go to Ed uh, to Stumler and block ready and Stumler just a little too strong. Good pass by Curry. The set goes to Meyer. And that's a point for the Wildcats. You know, we talked a lot about Craig Skinner, what he's accomplished here at Kentucky. And you've known Bird Coon for quite a while, a native of Tiffin, Ohio. She was the assistant coach of the year one season at Kansas. And just her second year, boy, a bright future at AM. Absolutely, one of the good young coaches in our in our profession that we hope is going to be with us for a long time. Well, there's Rush again. She had kind of gone quiet. And Rush, yeah, yeah. Rush was just swinging. You know, we talked about her in the second set. She was unconscious, just swinging and stuff. Well, in the third set, she got stuffed a few times, and so all of a sudden she's conscious again and uh, makes a nice tip ball for a kill. The rare service error by the Aggies. In the fourth set, that's just the third mistake in serve for AM. And the Wildcats tied at two. Of the 17 players on this AM roster, 14, or rather 10, recruited by Bird. And the Wildcats get an infusion of energy. Leah Meyer gets one of the let balls that are so hard to pass on serve receive. Oh, yeah. Kentucky's been the victim of two of them from Holland Hands. How about that? Can they play defense? Wide. Touch. A touch, it sure was. Caught Meyer, I think, on its way out of yeah, bounds. Sure did. Thought I saw that, but. So tied at three. Kentucky led the entire set. Set number three. And Emery takes the lead. Holland hands. Overpass by Leah Little. Yep. Madison Lilly there, but not able to do anything but deflect. By well, set hands. number one, hands was eight of 12. Since then, just five of 20. Back row Stumbler. Heating up again. <laughs> Clearly, AM said, you know, she's pretty good. Probably need to go back to her a little bit more. But in a position where she can do something where with she it. She can do something, yeah. Deep ball to the corner. She's got she has a, I mean, again, she's second in the league and kills per set. We knew she'd have a lot of weapons. Now and, you uh, talked about those let serves. Let and well, you could do that on command. Four straight points now by AM. Momentum shifts once more. Aggies with a 2 1 lead, as you see on your screen. Lily has to run it down. And Edmund doesn't get much of a shot at it. Hands does, and off Alley Stumbler. Just finding hands and letting her take over this match a little bit here. This is a ball where she's not even going to go out to the pin to hit it. They're just going to loft the ball up to her in the middle. She takes it to a corner. And it's three for three in this set. There's Edmund. Aggies keep it alive. Gomez trying to sneak one over. But Kendall Paris 
is there for the Wildcats on the right side. Nice job by Madison Lilly, just hanging that ball, letting Kendall Paris at 6'3", just climb the ladder, go get it, pop it. Absolutely pasted it. Madison Lilly to serve it for the Wildcats. The finesse by Hands, four for four now. Hands watching Lilly as Lilly comes in on that tip ball, looking for it to come inside. Hands is watching her, pushes it outside. Four point lead again for the Aggies. A tough serving hands. Goes at Curry again. But Lily tried her best. Yeah, but she's a avoid. she's a back row player, and so she can put her hands above the net. I mean, I mean, she can't block above the net, so she can't jump. But it's a double hit now if she contacts it twice. Five-point lead for the Aggies as Holland Hands ready to serve for AM with a two-to-one lead here in the match. AM has wrestled the momentum away from Kentucky. Wildcats set Kendall Paris on the slide, and Kentucky scores out of the timeout. Using Caitlin Cooper as a passer there, and uh, she delivers on a Holland Hands. Perfect pass. Splits up the block. Kendall Paris says, my turn. Leah Edmund to serve. Tried that quick attack again. Gomez, what a play, what a free ball. Set to Cooper. Quick hands by Curry. Allie Stumbler rolls it into the donut. Nice ball handling by Gabby Curry on that stuff. Just keeping a bang, bang, quick plays. Can you manage them? Can you turn them into attacks? Not can you just touch them, but what sets apart somebody like Gabby Curry, and we're seeing, you're seeing it on the other side from Camila Gomez, same thing, is they can not only touch those balls, but they can make them into something that somebody else then can handle. Wildcats have chopped the deficit to three. Edmund to serve. Made her high school volleyball right here in Lexington. Big swing from that left side by Lauren Davis. Lauren Davis, they limit how many times they set her the ball, and if she's in system, she's a pretty good, consistent attacker here, and she does here, delivers, goes inside. Just a freshman, big upside for this A&M team. Gomez goes at Curry again. Wildcats go to Stumler again. And that's a textbook play right there. Perfect pass, fast ball to the outside. That's Ali Stumler's bread and butter. If you can get her a ball out near the pin, she's got a lot of options. Team leading 33 swings, 12 kills on the night for Stumler. And another service error for the Wildcats. <laughs> My fault, says Gabby Curry, but steps right back in. Critical passer for this team, touching every one of her teammates, going around saying, hey, I got it, next one. Curry, seven digs on the night. Gomez with a match high 12 digs. Billy setting Cooper. And that is out of bounds off the hands of Davis. 11-8, and, um, and a challenge now by Bird Coon. Challenging whether that ball was out of bounds or in bounds. Certainly. Stumbler just a little too long. Good idea by Allie Stumbler looking for a corner. A uh, ball coming from over her head. Tough ball to keep in play. But trying to stress the defense and misses the line. Taylor Voss will serve it. London High School in Corpus Christi. A 
to set. Meyer cutting it through the AM defense. Gabby Curry's really settled into a passing rhythm uh, on Boss. She's delivering that ball low and flat to Lilly, splitting up that block. You give Madison Lilly that kind of a ball to deliver, and uh, Kentucky is a really difficult offense to defend. Leah Edmond and the Joust, they keep it alive and off the hands of hands. What a ragged point, but the Wildcats at this point, they'll take it. Absolutely, both Meyer and, and Lilly saying, hey, I got it, I got it. Look at Edmund. Great, great dig here by Edmund, then a joust, then it over. Meyer finally finishes it off. What a terrific set to Holland Hands for her 17th kill. Double digit kills 18 times on the year. 32 against Ole Miss. How do you do that with 14 digs? And Meyer. And the finesse works. That was a smart play by Meyer. As you take McKenna Patterson, the 6'3 middle, who served that ball, and you make her go all the way from her serving position up to dig a ball that's put right behind the blocker. So nice, smart play there by Leah Meyer. She'll serve it. Rush drops it into the corner. What a shot. Absolutely. <laughs> no one plays defense there. If you can. What a top spin. Ball. Watch the bottom this ball. ball. It's just oh, totally, man. I mean, it's just parked in that corner. No yeah. one plays there. You can tell her freshman, Laura Davis, teammate saying, hey, you and me, girlfriends, right. we're going to build this team. Well, another joust. Look at Lily. Gomez gives up her body. Free ball for the Wildcats. They set Paris, and Gomez sends it the wrong way. What a volley. Defense there. You just have to dig it out, and we're seeing it on both sides. Gomez, Lily jousting. Madison Lilly just absolutely competing, not smiling, not grinning, not cheering, just going, give it to me here. We got to get some work done. That's about the most unlikely set you're going to see tonight and, by Gomez. And, and to get that through, Caitlin Cooper, Kentucky's best right side blocker, Colin Hands just fearless on this. This ball ought to be absolutely stuffed. We know where it's going. This is a good block, and she makes it into a kill. Boy, Gomez set her up perfectly, flying out of bounds. There's that serve by Hands. Oh. Wrong direction for Madison, Madison Lilly. Madison Lilly could have had that one back. She wouldn't have touched it. That ball looked like it was flying out of bounds here, but. Lily didn't see it that way. Deficit climbs back to four. Here in set number four, the Aggies trying to close things out. Check out this serve by hands. When Cooper accidentally kicked the ball into Madison Lilly's face. But the bad news is it came on a point by the Aggies at Kentucky. And now Craig Skinner wants a timeout with his team down five. And unfortunately, when you have a setter who's just coming off concussion protocol, yep. taking a ball to the face is not something you want to see. It was completely accidental, of course. 300. And after going silent, Virtually set number three. She has been a powerhouse again here in the fourth. And she'll serve it. See if she goes to Curry again. The 
rare service error. The Wildcats scoring out of the timeout. Kentucky needs a run of its own now. Again, with AM at 17, you're too late to just to trade. You've got to go two to one. Trying to serve short, which had worked for Kentucky, but it's got to clear that tape. Getting late for the Wildcats. They're down five as Gomez will serve it. Lucky number 13. Not just a senior, but a redshirt senior. Yeah, Caitlin Cooper. What hops. Cooper, a big match against Florida. Nine kills in that big win over the Gators. Had 11 kills against Purdue earlier this year. Gets off the floor quickly, has a variety of shots. Good blocker. Abby Curry. This time, Leah Meyer was there and ready for the quick attack. Leah Meyer knowing that Camille Connor is in the front row, that she likes to dump the ball, this time just covering it up. Connor goes six foot three. Doesn't have to get off the floor very much. Pull that off. Now Cats run out of hits. Lauren Davis, a freshman outside, picking up a kill. Her sixth for tonight. So now Camille Connor to serve it. Had a huge night in the matchup with Florida. Connor did. That's in for Ali Stumner. Nice job by Ali Stumner. The corner that she missed a couple of swings ago. She hits this time. Stumner earlier this year, seven straight matches with double digit kills. She's got 13 tonight. Lauren Tharp to serve it. <laughs> Lily wants the touch, doesn't get it. 2016. Taylor Voss checks in to serve. Nice move by Madison Lilly, but just not quite able to turn that ball back into the court. Got Voss listed at 5-5, Coach. I'm not sure I buy that. And an ace. You don't see that very often off the hands of Gabby Curry. Gabby Curry, no, absolutely. Gabby, the libero of the year last season in the SEC, all conference, all region. Rally Stumler having a night, 14 kills, matching Leah Edmund, but Wildcats with a lot of work to do. Aggies close to putting this away. What a huge win this would be for Bird Coon's team. Nice ace. Nice Stumler. Stumler. Hey, we can do that too. To getting aces. That's number 20 on the year for Ali Stumler. Cats <laughs> get just enough of it. Fire. But somehow keeps going. Oh, it's, it's a touch. touch. Yeah. It's a touch, yeah. Back in 2012, Kentucky has won eight of them. Overall, Kentucky 11 and eight against the Aggies. This is the only time they play this year, so this match is there. There isn't a second chance for either one of these teams. So we'll see if Stumler serves to Voss again, or Gomez, who can get the point out of the timeout. It is Voss. Hands. Great pass. 
hands, they're setting hands a little bit inside the court and the Kentucky block really still setting up on the outside of the court. You can see it there and stuff where hands is, is actually hitting this ball really in the gap uh, between Meyer and Lily, bringing her inside to get a kill and that's what your senior leader does for you when you have to have it. The defense is there. Hands gets it done. Interesting choice. Lee. We talked about what your senior leader does and you have Leah Ma or you have Leah Edmond out on the outside there. AM down three to two, scored five straight, has led ever since. Boy, what a dig by Connor. They go back to the All-American, but she's long. Touch, touch. Uh, they uh, sure did. Touch on the block. And we'll see if that's challenged. If you're Bird, you just challenge yeah. that to see if you can get it. Here comes the card. <laughs> the official on the Kentucky side called the touch. So they'll take another look at this. Most common thing that's challenged is the touch off the block because Edmund rejected and the Aggies have pulled the upset in Lexington. Texas A&M three, Kentucky one here in Memorial Coliseum. Tip your cap to Bird Coon and the job she's doing in College Station. Absolutely, that was a show of force. Team coming in here. And